Shanka is yeah. this lovely jumper here. Hello, person. <laughs> we'll be donating $45 from every sale of the jumper towards Australian Wildlife Conservancy. Yep. And how will that donation help you guys in the long run? Look, it's fantastic. Thanks, uh, uh, Dewey, and and and, uh, and you guys, and, and Boom Shanker. It's it is a really generous uh, um, um, contribution to our work. You know, as a as a not for profit organisation. Um, importantly, it will assist us in our mission, which is the protection of all Australian native animals and the habitats in which they live. I'm the Regional Operations Manager for Australian Wildlife Conservancy in what we call the North East. It is essentially um, Queensland and the, the, the northern end of the, uh, the Northern Territory. So we've got uh, five properties in Queensland and uh, two properties in the Northern Territory as well as a partnership uh, arrangement that we have with a large grazing operation in the far northwest of the Northern Territory. Uh, my role is really to support the managers uh, on those properties in um, conducting land management operations uh, and working closely with our um, organisations, ecologists and, and other external stakeholders in that research and monitoring um, world which essentially informs our land management uh, activities and that's a key part of, of, our, of our model. What, and what land management um, practices do you actually implement here at the Curramore Sanctuary? Yeah, so we're at Curramore. This is um, one of our uh, really important properties on the doorstep of the, the southeast population base. Um, it's quite small in the scale of some of our other properties in our region, but it packs an absolute punch in terms of its diversity mm -hmm. uh, and its relevance to our model being right on that doorstep. Um, the key activity really, uh, to put it simply, is to be uh, maintaining the habitat and improving the habitat of this area. Um, it's very important uh, koala habitat, it's very important uh, in terms of you know these lovely big trees that we can see and the system um, which is often uh, impacted by weeds like lantana and, and things like that. So, um, by managing the weeds and implementing a, uh, a really rigorous fire regime through this area we can restore this habitat which is important to a whole range of um, systems but also specific threatened animals. Yeah, yeah and, and what are some of the animals um, that you could maybe tell us a little bit about that are facing um, for this area? Yeah, so look there's some specific uh, gliders and uh, some specific bats uh, that are really uh, under threat the key threatening process, uh, as I said before, is really that loss of habitat. Right across Australia, feral cats uh, are numbering now in their millions, and um, they are, uh, look, in, ter in terms of an actual threatening process, it is right up there with, with the top ones, you know, in terms of habitat loss or, um, or uh, fire regimes and things like that. Feral cats and the predation nightly uh, equals uh, millions and millions of native animals every day. I personally have removed feral cats uh, in Cape York and I've counted um, 52 small frogs in the stomach and the throat and the mouth uh, of, a, of a normal domestic sized cat. The problem can seem insurmountable but like our model that we've implemented right across Australia with uh, implementing feral proof um, fenced areas to reintroduce threatened or, or locally extinct uh, mammals. Um, we, we, we're, uh, you know, we're sort of taking the approach that something has to be done. Uh, our organisational view would be that the extent and the impact from large-scale fire events that we saw, such as 2019, can be absolutely and directly mitigated by ongoing fire management throughout the, uh, the landscape. Um, by managing fuel that's available for those large extent uh, and, uh, and sometimes ill-timed fires, um, we've found that we can absolutely reduce uh, the incidence and the extent of the impact from some of those fires. To be working with uh, and associated with Boom Shank is really exciting in terms of getting our message uh, across and who we are and the opportunity for some of Boom Shanker's customers to even research a little bit about AWC when they buy the, the Hello Possum yeah. jumpers. 
Well, I know for us it's very exciting because we get to actually use this time or campaign to actually help educate people about Australian native animals that Terrific. a lot of us don't know about. Terrific. Terrific.